How's it going, everyone? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla, as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. So today we're going to be dedicating this video to another Battle Pass skin, but not Fangwild Heart Ember. We did that in the other video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Such a beautiful skin. Uh, this Battle Pass, we're doing things a little different. Normally, I do the skin videos in order that I get them, but I guess this time we're going backwards because today's episode is going to be dedicated to this skin, Puella Papirio Scarlet. I don't really know what those words mean, uh, but she looks really cute. She's got like the bee goggles and uh, her hair's got a little twisty to it. I love the color as well. And then check out the weapons. Very cool, right? So this is what she looks like uh, in different colors. I really like the coat of lions. Uh, real quick, I'll just go over some of these rarer looking colors that I have for her, but pretty much I think all of the colors look good on her. Uh, you can let me know in the comments which color on her you think looks the best, but generally I think they all look pretty awesome, so there you go. Um, I think in the first match we're going to go ahead and use... Mm, let's go ahead and use Willow Leaves. Three, two, one, brawl. All right, let's go. <laughs> going against Lucy playing as uh, Oh, I forget his name Luke pretty sure it's Luke Actually, it's cross epic crossover skin. Oh I just realized I'm not using the uh, the actual weapons uh, For this skin. I'm using different weapons. My bad. This is actually a, a lance from a vector I really like this one because it literally looks like a giant missile uh, and I don't know what hammer I'm using, so I guess we'll find out. Ooh, Lucy with those blasters. I really like the, uh, skin she's using, though. Ah, uh, gotta watch out for that neutral sig or the side sig on, on cross blast, uh, gauntlets are just so strong. But it's alright, we got her with that hammer down light side air, no problem. Oof. Hopefully I can get a little bit of damage off. I'm not like a really, really good Scarlet player. Okay. <laughs> but I, I know, I can win some games. I, I, I just kind of got to claw, you know, my way through. Oops, sorry about that. All right, let's go. Um, but yeah, you know, I might, you don't have to be the best to get some wins. You just have to try not to make too many mistakes and try not to get punished too hard. There you go. If you, if you could do a little bit of uh, damage, that always helps. <laughs> All right. Luke is just shredding me with the blasters. Seems like they're a blaster main. They didn't really do anything with gauntlets. So if they're only good at one weapon, that's our advantage because we're pretty decent with both the weapons that we have for Scarlet. Actually, I should say all three, right? Unarmed is a weapon too. <laughs> I, I love using unarmed actually. Get out of here, Luke. I, I kind of want to just hit the blasters out of her, her hand. Because... Eh, oof. I'm lucky I didn't dodge into that neutral sig. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Nice edge guard. All right. Final stocks. Final stocks. Will I win? First game with Puella Papilio Scarlet. Oh, my gosh. This is not how I want to start the first stock. I mean, sorry. The final stock. I really, uh, I need to get a weapon. Okay, he's weapon starving. He's damaging me up. It is completely tied now. Tie game. We're both in orange. Lucy has brought it all the way back with Luke. Let's see if I can, if I can't find a weapon, you know what? We're going unarmed, baby. <laughs> GG, dude. GG. That was a fun match. All right, on to the next match, guys. This time we're going against Fangwild's Heart Ember. The skin that I did a video on yesterday, or no, it wasn't yesterday, but last video. Oh, man. Two Battle Pass skins from Season 6 going at it right here. Although she's using a bow from, like, Season 2, I think. I can't remember where that bow is. Actually, I don't know. That might be a vector bow. If you guys know where that bow is from, let me know. The Katars she's using, I think. Oh, grab bowed right on her head. I think she's using the uh, the Ragnar Katars from the Battle Pass. I, I actually really do like those too. 
Ugh, I meant to do a slide off down sig and instead I did a ground pound and now she's punishing me pretty hard. Let's reverse this trend. Yeah, you get that. You get over there. We're in control here now. For some reason, I do have a hard time hitting with side sig on Scarlet Lance. Down sig on the Lance, though? That is an easy move to hit with. Like, nobody really understands how far that smoke cloud or steam cloud comes out. And it comes out really fast and like, oh, wow. Speaking of coming out fast, she just came out of the gates blazing there. Oh, no. I don't want to get shredded by Katars. No, 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 no. Go, stop. Oh, no. Not like this. All right. We got a weapon. <laughs> now that I got the land, she didn't want to approach. You guys notice that? Boom. Steam cloud in your face. The problem, member, is that you really do have to hit me so many times because of low strength. Whereas Scarlet, I only got to hit her like 10 times and she's probably in red. Just like this. I could probably kill her with a neutral light. Neutral light on Lance is underrated because it actually has a far reach. And it... Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Alright, never mind on the neutral light, baby. Boom! And boom! GG! Alright, on to the next match. Ooh. I love this skin. This is actually a skin and color that I use quite often. I forget what the skin is called for Ember. Is it just a uh, Fang Wild Ember? I don't remember, but I use that skin a lot and I also use it with Gold Forge because look at it. It looks so beautiful with the golden horns and everything. I just love the, the Gold Forge colors on it. That being said though, I'm using Code of Lions colors this time, which I think looks really good on this uh, Scarlet skin. You got the white hair and then the red tips. That just looks really nice on the hair color. All right, same thing uh, with Ember here. Actually, we fought Ember last game too. So two Embers in a row. Uh, she just, you know, she's got to hit us a lot. So it's, oh, look at that. One yoink from the hammer. We were, we were losing that stock the entire time, but it doesn't matter. We still got the stock because hammer is just OP on uh, recovery if you can get them. She's got to hit us so many times with those guitars. That being said, like, I, I actually do love playing Ember. Uh, even though it's kind of hard to get kills with Ember. You just got to get used to, like, the fact that you don't have a lot of kill options with light attacks. But she's still got signatures. She's got recovery. She's got side air. You know, side sig, down sig, neutral sig. Uh, but, yeah. Otherwise... I would say Scarlet is just way more powerful. And Scarlet can do uh, a lot of really good signatures as well. I know last video I was going on and on about Ember bow signature, like bow neutral sig and side sig being super good. Well, <laughs> Scarlet hammer neutral sig is also super good. Look at that. And also uh, Scarlet hammer side sig off the edge is really good because it hits a huge window. I'll try to hit it, but we'll see. Also, Scarlet Hammer down sig, actually, I don't know if this is true anymore, but it used to be, it probably is. It actually has the most force of like any move in the game. Up, oh, GG. I was trying to, to do a hammer Three, side sig off two, the edge, but I never really got the chance. But yeah, uh, Scarlet Hammer down sig. It will throw with so much force compared to anything else. Yeah, Dom! Thank you for the cheerleading moment. This is the first person to ever do that with me. I don't really like that mooted skin, but it's all right. It's all right. I, d I have it, but I don't use it. I just prefer the other ones. However, that being said, it probably looks better than uh, default moon in still. Whoa, almost got ground pounded there. Dom's uh, bow light attacks are kind of beating me up here. I'm in deep red again. I feel like every single game, my first stock, I like do poorly and then I still end up winning though. All right, well, he, he, uh, he pretty much destroyed my first stock. Can we bring it back? 
This time we're going against a Scythe and Bow user, not just Katar's and Bow. There's the side sig with Hammer. You see how big that hitbox was though? She reaches like way far and around. Really nice off the edge move. Oh, read the spot dodge. Oh, I just should have done another side air. Ooh, I actually reached and I hit the double sig. Okay, well three was getting a little bit too greedy. You never know till you try sometimes. I, I don't really like this map because of the platform covering almost the entire stage. It makes throwing weapons down and like covering your descent a little bit trickier. It also makes attacking through the platform a little bit harder. No, no, no. Get that out of here, booted. Get that. Wait. She's still alive. How did she make it back? Oh, my goodness. Please. Please let me back on stage. Thank you. We need to take her out, man. This is She's been alive way too long. There we go. Look at that. My first stock was literally terrible. And now we're in a position where we are leading. And Moonin is on final stock. I know Lance can be like a really annoying weapon to fight. But if you think it's annoying to fight. And you've never even tried like really getting good at it yourself. Like you should actually try. Because Lance is a really fun weapon once you're kind of good at it. And it isn't OP. Like people say it's OP. I don't think it is. It feels OP when you're going against somebody who knows how to use it. But somebody who knows how to use it also really knows that it is limited. Like there's definitely weak weaknesses and... You got to be really careful, especially on like Lance recovery. It can be stuff like like that. See what I mean? That is a big weakness. Um, obviously, it has to be abused, <laughs> but yeah, Lance is not OP, but it is really fun to use. I really do like it, especially once you can get some strings like hammer. I've never really loved hammer. There it is. Yes. GG Boonin. Three, GG. I two, finally got one, a KO with roll. the uh, hammer side thing. That's exactly what I was talking about. All right, let's try. Oh, wow, you give me the, the tongue plant taunt. That is not respectful. But at least he taunted, yeah, better than nothing. It's still a good luck taunt. Maybe he didn't know like he was gonna hit that taunt. You know, maybe he just hit a random taunt and it happened to be that. Either way, I love the, uh, the skin. Not too many people play Thatch. But if you're going to play Thatch, this is a great skin to do it. The G.I. Joe skin. I forget what that one's even called. Oh, my goodness. I dodged the weapon throw. No! Not the ground bounce. Oh, I thought I would dodge it. Oh, he just taunted me again. Ooh. That... Sir, you should not have done. I, I respect the opening taunt. But if you're going to taunt after KOing me, that is disrespectful. And I will try to win this game now. <laughs> Though I don't know if I will. <laughs> I don't really get too salty. But at the same time, like, if you're going to taunt me, I will want to try to hard. You know, I'll try harder to win, basically. But I'm not going to, like, get so bad if I, if I lose. But... I kind of let karma run its course. You know what I mean? Like, if they're gonna if they're gonna be toxic or salty, I wouldn't say toxic. Wow, what a play! Like, they're really good. What a play! All right, this is not looking great for us, guys. Are we gonna lose to the taunter? We can't lose to the taunter. This is probably gonna be my final match, so we cannot lose to the taunter. Okay, that was way off, but yeah. Come on, baby. We're bringing this back. Oh my gosh. Enough with the grenades. Though he is hitting me like almost every time, so I don't blame him for using them. If I could get rid of this stock that he has, we have a really good chance to win because Thatch has actually really low defense. If I remember correctly. Oh my gosh. Yes! Low defense Thatch and high power Scarlet equals. I should be able to win this. I don't even need a weapon. I can, you know, even like when you're unarmed, the, the force and strength is still in play. And so is his low defense. So I'm hitting him with unarmed. I'm doing a ton of damage. 
I don't want that weapon. I don't I don't want that. Yeah, come get it, boy. You gotta ta ta me? This is what you gotta get. Oh, I almost got it there. This is gonna be risky. I'm in deep red. Oh my how did I miss that? Okay, take it. Take it. Take it. No. 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 Die. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun playing Scarlet as always. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next episode. Let me know who you think I will play in the next episode. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.